what I want to say to you about this. You can maybe wear new underwear, but when it gets down to washing it, it always um, falls apart, doesn't it? You know what I mean, it just this is the Port of Roja. It's one of my favorite places, and I just love uh, eating lunch here because you know it's it's free. They give you the food free here because when you're a celebrity like me, uh, you come in and they just want to give you the best food. So why even bother to eat anywhere else? Oh, I know people say, well, you should maybe eat at a couple of other places. But listen, this is the best food right here. I'm telling you, this is the best food. And everybody's here anyway. So when you're a star like me, people want to feed you and they want to give you uh, certain kind of extra things that will make you happy. And that way when you're in um, movies and you're doing a role, you may mention that you ate at the Puerto Rojo. <laughs> people, isn't this just as funny, isn't it? Isn't it the people, they say to you that way, oh, it's, being in the movies is wonderful. I love being a Latin star. It's, uh, well, something I dreamt of since I was a little Latin girl in Brooklyn and now uh, here I am in Mexico uh, eating at the Puerto Roja, it's Terry's place and everybody who's anybody is here and uh, of course you know, Maria Felix ate here and uh, Lola Montez ate here and uh, Katie Dorado ate here and now I'm here uh, Joan Alamos is, is a good name, isn't it? I know, I know you like it. But listen, you, 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 know, you can be a Latin star. All you have to have is the sexy stuff, you know what I mean? You have to turn on the sexy stuff. And yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You just wear the low cutters and you cry a little bit. Now, and then you laugh a little bit like I'm doing. <laughs> Everybody loves it. They do. That's why you can be a Latin star very easily. You just have to clean your teeth. You have to get any fur out of there. And you have to have the clean teeth. And you have to drink a lot of vino. Vino claro, which is very famous here in Alamos. When you're a Latin star, you drink a lot of it. Because it's a long time between... Uh, what can I say? It's uh, uh, a long time between movies, you know what I mean? It just goes on and on and you never really have a chance. <laughs> Isn't it great? You have a vino with me? A vino claro or two? Uh, what can I say? It's uh, uh, a long time between movies, you know what I mean? It just goes on and on and you never really have a chance. <laughs> Isn't it great? You have a vino with me? A vino claro or two? It's wonderful, you know? I love being a Latin star. John Alamos, I love it. You get free lipstick too, you know? When you go downtown, they give you the free lipstick, you know? Because you, you are on the movie posters. Yep, yeah, but that's right. You're a, Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. Well, of course you're right. Yes. Oh, yes, well. Maybe you be saying that, but the fact of the matter is, you know... When you're a famous movie star, everybody comes and they look at your pictures and then they use the same lipstick. So I have lipstick, I have it all the time, you know, I get my, my pockets full of it. Sometimes I sit on it, I get a big squashy feeling. And you know, I, what can I tell you? you? You, It's a big stain, you know. People think you're bleeding to death, but you're not. It's just you just have a little lipstick squash in you, you know. And the same goes for the makeup, the pancake makeup, you know, everybody giving it to you. And the mascara you got to use. Lots of mascara. You have to uh, put it on your eyes. And then you have to be careful because you put on too much sometimes. And you look, you know, you look crazy. But nobody really cares about that that much, you know, really. When you get down to it. Because wearing a mascara and wearing... Oh, yes, what I'm talking about in the perfume. You have to wear the perfume to do this. You have to wear it and then you have to comb your hair. You know, the kind of wild style. When you're Felix, you use the wild style. You have to be, no lot of tells you, you have to be able to say to people, hey, listen, kiss me. You know what I mean? Kiss me now. 
Kiss me, my love, you know. Amour, amour, you know. Colors all, you know, all those words after a while. Even I learned them in Brooklyn when I was there. I watched all of the Maria Felix movies and I moved immediately to Alamos and changed my name from Joan Brooklyn to Joan Alamos. Oh, yes, I did. Don't tell me I didn't. Yes, I did do it. Now you would agree with me. So you see why. I get the bitch, yes, of course, now you, I mean, now you know, don't, don't be fooling with me now, you know why I'm doing this for you, okay, so, we are, we are right here now, and I want to say goodbye to you and all of my fans out there, I'll be in my next movie, you'll see it on the YouTube, we'll I'll be there drinking the Vino Caro Famous of Alamos, me, Joan Alamos, right here in Alamos, uh, saying goodbye to you in lots of kisses. From me to you. Oh, gee, it was wonderful, isn't it? I love it. I do. I do. I do. I do. <laughs>